although I gamble a little bit on the lotteries once in a while, I don't uh, participate in any other this kind of This is all I can gamble. This is, this is what I deal with. This cash. Like yeah. Well, cash is king. What is going on, folks? Welcome to the third third episode of What the Bitcoin Love, Peace, and asking people about Bitcoin. Get right to work. Joshua, just for the documentary, Joshua Earl, nice to meet you. And, uh, you know, I was asking you about Bitcoin, and, and what do you think about Bitcoin? I don't know. Explain to me Bitcoin. Explain Bitcoin? Okay, so Bitcoin more or less really is, uh, from what I understand, and I'm still very new to it, it's just an emerging financial market, uh, blockchain, and really if you're a participant of the creation of Bitcoin, you're who's hosting the network that allows the transactions to transpire, and it really doesn't require a third party, right? So if I wanted to pay you for this van with, say, 15 grand or something, right? Um, we wouldn't have to go to a bank to get that money transfer. I could just send you Bitcoin. You could receive it without any penalties. And then we ought to be stuck with Bitcoin that I can't buy out of No, you could sell it to cash. Oh, you you can always sell it, yeah, because there's always people that would be willing to buy it, you know? Okay. Would that be in the case? What do you think about Bitcoin, Earl? Well, is there a rate of exchange on Bitcoin, like foreign currency? Yeah, of course. They, they every... I lose money. What's that? Is there any way I can lose money? Yeah, because it's a, it's a market that goes up and down. That's what's difficult about it, right? Yeah. So that's what's neat, though. Well, it's neat, but it's difficult because I don't know. I don't. I need my money. When I need money, I need my money. Yeah. I'm a cash kind of guy. No, I get I'm it. I, I bought cash with every, so my whole life, and uh, I, I don't even have a credit score. I call my, I don't have a credit score because I paid cash yeah. for everything for the last 50 years. No, I respect that. Earl, I respect that. As a person that believes in cash for everything, and if you're doing stuff with credit, then you're living ahead of your means and, and really... Yeah, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. Don't yeah. try to buy it. Yeah. Me and my brother are the same way. We both, well, I used to be a criminal, but I'm not anymore. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I just, just me. Thank you. And I have a federal OC file on me, so I can't stash money in the bank. If I put a bunch of money, just cash in the bank, then the feds can get me and Rico Act and take, all my, take everything I own and have. I don't yeah. put anything in my name, ever. Okay. This van ain't in my name. My Nothing I have will be in my name. I used to have a boat collection. I had big boats, but I can't have them in my name. Yeah. Because I have to explain that. So what's nice about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, I would I not maybe nice about it, but the level of financial institutional paperwork still so new that it actually kind of falls in line, Earl, with, with your uh, philosophy yeah, I financially. I guess. But I don't know, man. I don't see me. Uh, how can you make money doing Bitcoin? But what you're trying to do? You buy how do you, it when it's low and you sell it when it's high. Yeah. I'm going to ask Art a little bit. Art, can I ask you a couple questions? No, I'll come back, Earl. It's just because I can tell you're thinking about it, you know? And it's something to think about. It really is. Do you have anything to say, Art, about Bitcoin? Pretty close to gambling. And uh, although I gamble a little bit on the lotteries once in a while, I don't uh, participate in the other this kind of gambling. This is all I can gamble. This is, this is what I deal with. This cash. Like yeah. Well, cash is king. Yeah. Next to food and water. And a nice sunny day, I guess. Some people say uh, money's the root of all evil. I think lack of money is the root of all evil. I actually think we're heading towards a society that's kind of like Star Trek and Star Trek New Generation. Where there's oh, okay. There we go with it. Okay. That's kind of what Bitcoin would be though, right? But, would you argue that? But the thing is, there's another I'm timeline gonna go get me where... Some Bitcoins out here. where there we go. that we're going to have a chip on our head and everything is going to be like a credit card, but it will be from the chip in your head. But that's kind of like the 666. Don't, don't get him on one of them weird alien deals. No, I was well, well, I was thinking that Bitcoin could be God, maybe, as well. No. no. Don't so. You don't think so? Did you say Bitcoin could be God? Yeah. No. Get back. Wait. Okay, I, well, I was just, well, I'm trying to stimulate conversation, that's all. Remember how they had that, they've had a couple bubbles that have crashed? The next time there's going to be a bubble, it's going to be because of this betting sort of thing that the banks and all the big financial institutes they pick a question is the sky going to be blue tomorrow you know it can be really silly questions but people put money on whether it's yes or no yeah and the um the feedback system 
the people that participate in it, they get paid more if they get guess more right answers than wrong answers, right? But it's a form of gambling, and there are trillions and trillions of dollars in that little bubble. Yeah. And it's going to blow apart like the other ones unless the government shuts them down. And the way to shut them down is just not allow anybody to buy anymore into the questions and just have the funds pay off the questions that they have. So we can kill it off without hurting anybody, but if they let it keep going, it's just gonna it's gonna bust someday. And yeah. Be in the same situation so if you had to say, would you consider Bitcoin uh, a good thing or a bad thing for society? I think that it's pro. It's kind of like cash mangles things. It's just another form of cash, really. Yeah. So. Yeah. So to some degree, it's so if, it's no if different. I think almost. Cash is going to go away. I think Bitcoin is going to go away too. Okay. So what is going to replace Bitcoin? What's going to replace cash? Uh, it's hey, going to be a society where the people that if, have is share what they have with people that don't have. I got to go. I can't stay here. Anybody, anything what? that people need. Somebody else is going to supply that need. Yeah. Okay. I okay. Think that's well, to okay. I More of a uh, skill for skill or, or thing for thing. The thing I'd like to see, this is the that's kind okay. of world I want to work towards, is where I we know, don't have national do boundaries anymore. Call me when it's over. Okay. I'm go yeah, we're, we're, we're from Earth. It's communities I'm, yeah. trading with communities. Some anywhere. of them yeah. specialize in manufacturing, some in textiles, some in mining, you know. Yeah. And we just trade back and forth. Yeah, it, no, I would see that. Because the value depends on how much you need it, right? So you, Yeah, and what's crazy is if we think about maybe an asteroid with a bunch of resources that we consider valuable as humans currently because of their level of non-abundance, but then all of a sudden a big thing of gold just crashed in the middle of the ocean, that would trash every piece of monetary value anyway, it would, would we know, right? Uh, it's quite possible that there will be enough gold in the world that the price will crash down to one dollar per troy ounce whereas now it's fifteen hundred yeah is it fifteen for gold yeah it's somewhere around it there i think i've heard it as high as nineteen hundred in recent history but now it's about seventeen hundred but i call fifteen hundred kind of the bigger that it's bouncing you know my sister brought a crew grand i had a, a lady gave me a crew grand out here and at the time i cashed it in for seventeen hundred and nineteen dollars that's when that's when the, hey, uh, that, that's a, compared to what it is right now. You did pretty is, good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is a crew grand about one troy ounce? It's exactly one ounce of pure gold. No, no, it, it depends on what kind of ounce. Whatever. A, a whatever. troy ounce is, there's 14 troy ounces per pound and 16 regular ounces to a pound. So whatever. I wanted to know if you're talking in regular ounces or troy ounces. Hey, I'll be out 30 minutes. King, 30. Anyway. Okay, so in a, in a parting note, right. would you guys say that Bitcoin is scary? Do you consider Bitcoin scary? Scary, yeah, I it's, think so. Do you think Bitcoin's scary? Yeah. What's your name, ma'am? Alicia. Alicia? Okay, the only- Nice to meet you, Joshua. That's because I don't know what it is. It's like the, the Bitcoin yeah. industry is biased towards the people that know the most about it. They can consistently bet low, I mean buy low and buy high. I mean buy low and they sell high. Low. Right? So, yeah. I have other things to do with my life. Right? What society really thinks about it, because right. we're only being told by the media and then the people that own a lot of it. We're not really hearing what society feels about it. Yeah. I think it's a system that will prey, prey upon the uneducated, just like a lot of other schemes do. Yeah. So, I view it as a bad thing for the education, for the kind of society that we have now, where greed and selfishness kind of govern everything. I don't know, the way I look at it, I just want everything. I'll take Bitcoin. If they're going to give me Bitcoin, like out here on the corner, if they're going to give me Bitcoin, that's good. Yeah. I'll just talk about them until I... Hey, if anything, it'd be kind of neat to get Bitcoin, because then it could be like, uh, you well, know... It's easier to get money. It's better to get money now, but I can put it in my bank, and I can, like, buy the stuff. See, I need stuff. Where yeah. Do, where do you they... store Bitcoins? Yeah, there's wallets and stuff of that nature, and, and right. banks are starting to allow it. You know, they're starting to adopt. Oh. There's... You know, I forget which one it was today, but they're they're starting to figure out how that would banks? look. What's that? Big national banks? Yeah, the the big uh, I forget which one it was today. Goodness, let me pull up Bank the article. Of here, here, I'm gonna do it right now. It was uh 
Yeah, and let's see what you got. Earl's looking it up as well there, guys. But I've got for my what friend Morgan Stanley. Stanley. Morgan that's Stanley. Bitcoin. That's an investment firm, not a bank. Oh, okay. well, thank you, seven, Art. See, this Bitcoin. is why I'm out here, folks, learning, because I don't know anything either. And I've learned a lot from Art today, oh. as well as Earl. You guys are just, it's articulate. It's my, my opinion that I'm giving you. And well, and it, what kind of future I'm willing to work towards. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Here we go. People don't realize my that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get over here with, uh, real quick. I'll be back, Art. Just buy Bitcoin. Make the simple test and buy and okay. hold Bitcoin. Turn this off. What were you finding there? Can I see what article you're looking at? New and you, okay, right here. Limited time bonus, join Coinbase and get $5 of Bitcoin. Terms apply, jumpstart your crypto portfolio with $5 of Bitcoin. The users of Bitcoin, Bitcoin market prices. Hey, when you learn about that, I'm gonna ask Alicia and her friends okay, about it real okay. quick, okay guys? I'll be back. Let me know what you learned from that, okay? L O O. I'm filming a documentary about Bitcoin, please. It's nothing crazy. Okay. Okay. I I can blur your. I will blur your whole body, sir. Okay. I I respect. I apologize, Alicia. No, I I have good. I swear. I I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Oops. No, hey, I wouldn't mind if you filmed me. No, no, uh, people used to film documentaries back people in the day, too, and that's what I'm doing. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, get oh. shot. Okay. For 24 hours. Okay, hey, y'all. Ending of the video, it stopped. Um, the, the one gentleman just kept going and going, and I was a little bit uneasy, so I just stopped recording, walked over, jumped in my van, and got the heck out of there. It wasn't anything too crazy. Really, I would have probably pressed a little bit harder had Blue not been in my van with the window rolled down. Really large dropping of the ball there. Um, Blue's doing nice and safe. Like, comment, subscribe. <gasps>